This is Die Fly Fish. Just want to show you, this object is a geologic formation called a thunder egg. And you can see in here there's mineral aggregates. Ostensibly these are formed, I believe it's the official rock of Oregon, um, in volcanic flows. So again, my question is, is volcanism caused strictly by heat and pressure? Or is there a significant electrical component to the lava flows that allows the accretion of this type of crystalline structure to form instead of secondary aqueous uh, aggregation of different minerals inside of these porous geode-like type accretions? So for what it's worth, I'm also going to clarify the Tesla style power circuit and the two different types of electric discharge phenomenon that we can see. The normal uh, induction coil that we have here, or I should say the transformer discharge is non-violent when this system is non-shunted. And I'll show you what that's like right now. So I will activate the system. And here is the normal discharge from the 15,000 volt transformer. Now when I try to go across the geode, it really wants to skip around it. So there doesn't appear to be any real significant interaction with the geode itself. Despite the fact I'm trying to get it to course through the geode, it's going around it, okay? So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to shunt the system and then show you the difference in caliber and quality of the electric discharge phenomenon from the, from the software circuit. So I've shunted it across a piece of metal here, and now I'll activate the system, and we'll see a completely different interaction between the electrical effect of the discharge from the 15,000-volt transformer and this uh, thunder egg. So here we are. I'm going to activate the system now. Qualitative, you can see a difference. So you can see there is a definite interactive capacity to penetrate strata a thousand times better than from a normal... This discharge is different. And I would tell you that this is the type of discharge you be seeing across planets and with But I could completely envision how an electrical current could be responsible for the accretions on the inside of this. That's from the outside to the inside. Again, the intensity of the discharge, it wants to force through the substance of the material instead of around it.
believe I'm altering the substrate here a bit. It'd be interesting to see what it turns into. So in any event, I just wanted to show that you know the electrical phenomenon interacting with actual factual earth materials can occur but it's a specific type of electrical force and interaction and it does appear that that inside has been altered from that electrical current so it's changed the quality of those crystalline aggregates so that'll be interesting to look at underneath the microscope so thanks for watching again this is just to clarify the difference between the discharge phenomenon of the shunted versus non-shunted tesla style bar circuit and its capacity to interact with matter. All thoughts welcome. Have a great day. Thanks. Hey YouTube, this is Dive of Fish. Just want to show you, by the way, status post uh, that electrical interaction. You can see that that um, thunder egg is uh, exceptionally hot. So again, we can we can turn on the circuit.